Hello, welcome back. Today I wanted to try the hard mode for this demo. I felt that the normal mode was not too challenging. I think a lot of the levels I was able to beat just by kind of playing things without really paying attention. So we'll see how the harder difficulty goes now. Uh, it says you actually need to be good at the game to beat it, so I am not sure if I'll get too far because I never really consider myself great at these, but we'll give it a shot. Here we go. All right, so what do we got this time? Uh, this is pretty similar to what I did last time. I think I had the mortar, though, instead of the scrap tower. Uh, let's see. This one is just basic tower. Scrap tower, what does this do? It's, oh, it's just super cheap, and it does two damage a second. Uh, I really like these poison towers. I feel like they're pretty good. But... I guess I could either take this one or this one. I don't really like this one too much because it's very similar to what I did last time. So let's try the drones. The drones sound kind of fun. And what do we got here? This spreads your chills when you kill something. You get extra money for missions. Choosing a tower when after passing a level, there will be an additional option. Interesting. I feel like the mission was not terribly useful. Like, I didn't feel like I really spent the money on anything that made a huge difference. I healed a little, I guess. Um, this one is if something gets to my fire. Four buff tiles with random effects. That's pretty cool. So this gives me, like, a strong defense around my fire that I could build around. Chill effect. I feel like I want to go with the Ember Guardian because I don't really benefit from any of these others in ways that I found useful. Okay, and I actually already have some XP. Oh, you keep things from your previous run. Interesting. So I guess this will probably get easier Oops, as time goes on. I was not aware of that. All right. I think I'll go down here because I like these long blocks and I also like being able to go oh no I guess if I want to go to the the elite I have to go here so let's do that all right so these are my little bonus tiles and there's a bunch of enemies there I wonder if enemies can come from down here this is a pretty good layout though I like it there's like already obstacles here so I can like use some of those to my advantage. Um, I think I want to go like this, make things go around. So let's start with that. Make enemies go this way. Um, let's place this block here just to block them off. So now they have to go this way. And we can kind of snake them around a little bit give ourselves a bit more time here and I think I'm gonna want to block this off here too so they have to go this way and that alone will already be like pretty good I don't know how far these things reach pretty far so I can put this like here and I can put one or two of these towers here maybe and uh, I'll put the drone one here and another one here, just because right now they're all going to be coming through here. So hopefully I don't <laughs> set myself up for defeat here. Put another one of these just to be safe. All right, so the little drone just chases them down, I guess, and shoots things. That's pretty good. Although, well, I don't know. It's just okay. That first battle was a freebie. So yeah, this is what I meant by this. I can like put this here and put this here. Uh, actually, let's put this here. Just make these go around. I just want them to come past my towers here. And um, can do something like this. Oh, but that won't work here actually. I think I'll just hold on to this for now. And now that they're going through there, that should help some of these towers. I'm curious how good these are. I can just place one or two. And uh, another... 
well, I'll just hold on to that money. I would actually like to draw some more cards, though. Can force them to sneak around a little bit. Can do... Hmm. Well, let's just start the battle. So ideally, I want them to kind of go like in a little snake pattern here, and then to spend a bunch of time going around so that these four towers can be shooting at things. But so far, it looks like I have enough. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, I do not have enough, but that's okay. So let's see what we get from the cards. I think good to do this. Mm. Let's do it this way. We'll do this. And then we'll force things to go down again. Like this. Hmm. Yeah, like this. So now they have to go around. I'll have them come up here. Like this. And yeah, this is fine for now. Let's get some more drone action going on. Put some extra powerful towers here. Put a couple of these. So these will get to fire on things for quite a while, which is good. And I think what I want to do... Maybe make them come up, up, down. So it would be something like this. Oh man, I'm actually not doing very well. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully we can survive this. So now what I want to do is this here into this. I want it to be longer though. I want it to be like there. There we go. Uh, so now the towers here will get to fire on stuff for a long time. Maybe add a drone or two. All right. And uh, let's draw another card as well. I feel like I don't draw the cards enough. I usually don't do that. So send them back down this way. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. I'm super dead here. Wow. Uh, I guess I just didn't have enough damage. Wow. So, what went wrong there? Was it just that the drones don't do enough damage? Or maybe my mazing wasn't good enough? Hmm. I guess we'll have to give it another try. So this dice tower is like a baby version of the D21 I had earlier. These poison towers are always pretty good. Hmm. Maybe part of the issue is I didn't have any form of AoE damage, so things could just run by if there was too much HP. So let's try. Let's try this one. I don't know if this will be much better though. Preparation time between each wave is halved. For every 10 seconds, I get extra gold. When I sell a tower during battle, I don't get gold. Instead, it explodes, dealing damage to surrounding monsters, equal to five times the price that you would get back. That's pretty good. That's just the slowing effect. Uh, this is like a healing ability. When your electric towers attack, there's a 20%. So this is like 20%, or I guess 20% chance to deal three extra damage. Uh, we can try this. I don't know if it's like every chain that triggers. So if it's every chain, I can expect it to trigger like once per shot. If it's every time it, the tower triggers, I can only expect it to trigger once every like 10 seconds, it looks like. Because if 
fires once every two seconds. So I feel like this is the best thing just because it's the only thing that synergizes with my towers at the moment. All right, so let's give it a shot. We'll go for this little L block because I'm not a huge fan of those cross blocks. I feel like those take up a lot of space, but they don't really create too many pat like snaky paths unless you go around it, I guess. Then it's actually pretty good. All right, so this thing is not coming in yet, but I feel like I might as well just start mazing here since everything has to go there anyways. So let's start with this. Oh, come on. I'll send them like this way maybe, and then back up, and then down. And then that'll let me build here. Some towers that can like shoot at everything for a while. here this here okay so we want this to hit hard and we want this to hit well the poison won't have enough time to tick we've already run into that before the last time I played so I guess we'll just put another one of these and um, Let's do... Let's see. So this does 5 damage every 2 seconds, plus the extra targets. Whereas this does 3 damage every second. So this one does a little more damage if there's only one target. So I guess this one's basically better if you don't have to worry about gold. I would like to try it just to see what happens here. Hopefully I can get away with this. All right, here come the bugs. They're so much faster. Oh, oh. Ooh, yeah, that was not good enough. Oh, never mind, it died. Barely. <laughs> okay, I barely didn't leak something on the first round, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I could place this here. I could also do something like this. Uh, I feel like I definitely want to go back this way so that these towers get another shot off. So I'm going to do this. And then do this. And then do... Hmm, I could do this. This seems pretty good. It forced them to go back up this way. This gives my lightning towers a lot more shots. Uh, I feel like I probably want to have one poison tower here. And we can start the battle. And I will add, I guess, just a normal tower. These big bees are, or which ones? The spiders and the big bees got past me last time, but hopefully this time, yeah, this is doing much better. So maybe last time it was just the lack of um, damage that hits more than one target, the AoE damage there. We can do this. Like that. Or I could do this. That's probably okay. No need to waste this like fancy block here. Uh, I do want to grab this range extender, so I'll do this. And then I'll force them to start going back this way. This is not too great because there's like a big square here. Well, this can reach the whole thing, so this is actually fine. So let's add another chain tower. Um, another... We can start adding poison further back now that the maze is longer. And we can add another one of these. And this will hit quite a lot. Yeah, that seems good to me. So, let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh man, I wasn't expecting this to be that much harder than the normal difficulty, but we'll see if I can get through to the end. And yeah, I'm doing much better this time. Alright, so if I do this, this is pretty good. Then I can send them this way. Then I can... 
And there's not actually enough here to be able to sneak them back this way. So maybe I should consider coming up here now. Also, I think I can maybe do this. That's like fine. And start causing some amazing here. This blocks everything, right? So maybe we can do, well, I'll just save this block for now. I'm pretty happy with this. I can put another, hmm. will this be able to reach all the way across? Okay, so this reaches all the way there, which I think is probably good enough. But then again, a lot of the monsters getting through here will probably be weak already. So I should probably just put some something like that there so it can shoot at whatever has the most HP. And then, um, yeah, let's add some more of these. these. This will be able to hit like this entire area. And this will also have great range here. Add one or two more of these poison ones. I think we're good to go. I can probably buy some more blocks too. Start creating some amazing here. Do this. Do this. And do this. Yeah. Oh, there's one of the big spiders. Hopefully I can uh, actually survive at this time. Okay, yeah. This should be no problem. Yeah, these little sneaky spiders got past me the first time because I was not expecting the big spider to break up into a lot of little ones. So, I feel like I'm pretty well set up at this point. Um, I put this here. Oh, this is blocking. I always think these little gaps are a path. Okay, so I can do this. And do this. Like... Like this. Yes. And I can just create like a long path there. And, you know, I'm not really a fan of that. What if I were to... I, I really want these guys to have to go around, which means I have to go like this. So it would be like this. This has to get blocked off. I'm not sure that will be possible unless I move this like over here maybe because then I can do this like this so this is fine and I just need something I can stick here to get that extra damage we can put this here uh, and yeah more of this poison early on is really good Maybe some more of these lightning towers. Okay. I can definitely see that like the lack of upgrades in the demo comes through at the later part of the level, just because normally the upgrades get like more and more expensive each time you do them. But that giant wolf is definitely gonna get through. <laughs> There's no way I can kill it. Oh my god, he has so much HP. Actually, he might die. Let's add a few more towers. Try to burst him down here at the end. Now he's, he's gonna get through. Oh, never mind. I got him. I got him at the last second. This guy, though. Oh, come on. Come on. Nice. Barely. Wow, that barely gets them. Can't believe how close that was. Let's see. How can I do this? Can't do that. Can do this, though. This is pretty good. Or maybe I just do this. I feel like I'm just gonna force them to go around to merge over here. And then I can start maybe causing a little bit of sneaking here. Yeah. And let's add some more of these. And a few more poison towers. And then I feel like now I just want to really stack a lot of damage here at the end so that any big things that get through get taken out. Yeah, these guys. Hopefully the poison will 
sort of help weaken them as they make their way over, but I think I'm good. Yeah, like, they didn't make it through before, so they're definitely not going to make it through now that I have way more towers there. Yeah. Although, I guess if a lot of the wolves came at once, I would be in trouble. Or if, you know, he slams every single one of my towers like that. That was not great. Okay, okay. This is fine. Ooh, that was not good. Come on. Oh, wow. Well, that one didn't make it through. That's okay. I probably could have, like, quickly thrown a maze together, but that was the last wave, so... I don't think it's a big deal. All right. The snowball tower was really OP last time. It did a lot of damage, had crazy range, and fired relatively quickly. What does this do? This consistently freezes surrounding monsters, inflicting damage and slowing them down. So it deals one and a half damage per second because it fires 1.5 times per second. It has an attack range of three. Um, and it costs 25? I feel like that's a little expensive. I, I really think this is where it's at. I like the Snowball Tower quite a bit. I guess it's big, though. I think the other one might have been a one-by-one, one, so maybe that was better. Uh, use the experience points gained from adventures to learn various talents. Talents are permanent upgrades that persist through each run. Talents can be reset at any time, refunding all spent experience points. Yes, I knew that. Um, I feel like Overload might be pretty good. I would like to get this boss killer. Although you only fight one boss in this demo. So maybe I should go for crit. Two additional cards. That's pretty good too. We'll see. I can't really afford anything right now that I want. So let's go here. Because I guess these are identical. So it doesn't really matter. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is the level that I did previously, right? That I lost on. I tried going around to make use of like the little things there. So that was not a good idea. <laughs> Let's try something else. Uh, we definitely want to start building here because there's an entrance here. Although, can I block it off? Like, what happens if I... Yeah, I can't block that. They won't go around. So... Yeah. Let's get started with... I do want to take advantage of these logs here. I feel like they provide some good... Well, they provide, like, free mazing, but you can't build on them, so there is that. Let's see. What if I were to... build this here? No, not that one. What about this one? So if I build this here... There's that. So now they're both running this way. I can build this here. Is that a range upgrade? Oh, it's an attack boost time. Maybe I should make them run this way then. I could do... I could do something like this. No, that's not very good. This little block here is kind of an issue. I do want to block this. Hmm. So what would be the optimal thing here? I think it would be if I force them to run this way, this way, up, and then down this way. Because then that would let these towers here fire a lot. Yeah. So, if that's the case, I want to block this stuff off, essentially. I want to leave this open, force them to come up, so I do want to block this off. Let's do that. Like this, maybe. Like this. Oh, but then I'm all there. <laughs> they're just all running through there. Uh... See if we can... Yeah, we could block this off here, like this. I think I want to do it like this. No, 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 wait. I want it to go this way and then around, right? So I, I need to actually do something like this. This one is not great there. I could put this one here. 
and then I'll block this off. They'll go up here and around. Okay. So let's give that a shot. We'll put this here for the double damage. And we will put another one of these down here because they're going to be going around this way. And we'll put a double damage. Well, this won't be useful till later. So maybe for now I shouldn't put these here. No, 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 because they're blocking this thing from just running through there. So I do need them. So we'll just put two towers down. All right. Let's see how this does. We got the little spiders, or whatever these things are. They're like little cherry tomatoes, or <laughs> I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be. Uh, I wish I get the first wave. It's actually really easy. Probably didn't need to think that hard. Okay. So we wanted to block this off, force them to go this way. And then we want to block this off. I should block this off first to force them to go around this way. And then I want to do this. Yep, that seems good. And then I'll go make them go up and back around and then, you know, take it from there. But um, this lightning tower cannot actually reach that much. We'll put one here, because this will definitely be useful. Put it there so it has as much reach as possible. Oh, that's all I can afford. So I guess that's it. <laughs> all right, got some more cherry tomatoes coming in. Gonna give them some what they're looking for over here. The big bees, which I don't like. Oh. It's a little scary. I don't think I'm going to stop some of these. Oh, no, I did get them. Now, some of them did get through. So far, I seem to be leaking like one or two bugs the early waves. Maybe I'm being a little too... I'm planning too far ahead. I should take it a little faster or slower? I don't know. I need to be able to make my early mazes a little longer, I think. So, let's do this, right? So we'll force them to go around there. And I think I do want to put something here, but I can't. Well, let's re reevaluate here. What if I do this and then this? That's pretty good. Now I have a lot of building space here. I really want one of these giant towers, but uh, I'm not sure if this wave will allow me to do that. So maybe we... Just put some of these down for now. And one poison tower. All right, let's do it. Oh, I still have a block too, I forgot. Let's put this block maybe like this, just to force them to move a little closer to these towers. I think that lets this one go. No, it doesn't. Or it doesn't let it shoot an extra shot. <laughs> so that was kind of a waste, but that's okay. I think I am, now that I've completed this little area here, it like almost doubles the length of my maze, so that's probably enough for what I needed to help myself. So let's put this here. I can finally afford this. And so this is gonna basically hit the whole level, which is great, right? Yeah, that's very good. And now all I need to do is basically set myself up for the later waves, which I think should be pretty easy in this position. Oh, man, this seems so good. Just shoots these like giant ice balls. I don't think they're gonna do though, so maybe it's not that good. Oh no! Stop them, please! Okay. That was less than ideal. Okay. As long as all of these don't get through, I'll be okay. Oh man, that is not going well. Okay. So that was kind of what I was hoping would make it for me, and it didn't really seem to do that. So I am in trouble, I think. But, you know, gotta, gotta have a little bit of faith. Maybe we can figure something out here. Do this. And... 
maybe do a little bit of this no, i need a i need the other squiggly i need this actually i need this here all right no oh no that's not gonna work hmm let's see if i were to put this here that doesn't really do anything okay fine you can go back to where you were i need to make this maze much longer Uh, what about this guy? Nope. Hmm. So... If I put this one here instead, will that open up the space I need for this? No. No. What about this? No. <laughs> okay. I could do this. Uh, no, but the problem is that this there's no space there. So this is kind of going to just get through there at this point. Which means I should probably just give myself as much... What the heck? Why is this blocking the path? Oh, it's blocking the door. I see. Do this. And this. Oh, it feels like such a waste, though. Okay. Oh, is this is this what I needed? I think this might be what I needed. Maybe, right? Can I? Oh, no, it won't work. That's okay though. This does give this block here quite a bit of power. I'll put four of these here. Also, I'm running out of time. <laughs> That's not good. Seem to have a, seems to be a recurring issue for me. But let's put some more poison here. Okay. I should have built another one of those slow towers. I don't know why I built what I did. Oh god, big wolf guys coming. Put this here. Oh no, they're getting through. They're definitely gonna get through. How many points is that? I'm big. Okay, he takes one life. You know. Uh, I feel like if you're at the point in the game where you're trying to like negotiate for hey maybe this giant creature will only take one of my lives you're not doing so good <laughs> okay let's build another one of these and oh man this is so rough build some more maze over here this get a little bit of this going on nope. oh see like this maze here is so good well i don't know i think it's good i don't know if it actually is but we'll find out okay so we'll build another one of these here this one can, i think it can reach there which will be really good and then i just need a lot of these guys i need i need more single target damage now for those big wolves I have two of the slowing towers now, though, which is good. This is helping, I think. I don't know. I'm scared. My confidence is at an all-time low. They're, they're getting through. Oh, no. These giant wolves, they're too powerful. Please. Oh, no, that definitely... That did it. I'm definitely doomed. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. All right, that's all right. Uh, learning a little each time, you know? Let's try that again. How far did I even get? I think I only beat one level that time, so that's definitely not a good sign. <laughs> uh, man, this is so hard. I did like these icicle towers last time, but this doesn't have any AoE damage, and I do feel like that really mattered a lot. These flamethrower towers are pretty good. These poison towers are really good. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna give these flamethrower towers another shot. Let's see if this helps us out a bit. So this is healing. Less cost to draw. Spreading cold. 
Poison chilling is pretty good. Five of your towers will randomly transform into another tower of the same size. That does not seem very good. Because I'm going to want to build a lot of these and they might turn into like these other towers. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Let's go with this. This is, I guess I can slow things with my dark towers. I do like this little baby block. I feel like it lets me maze pretty well, but it also, I feel like the problem I had recently was that my maze was not long enough. So, oh, you know, this probably would have helped. This might have made the difference. I do have the fire mastery. Maybe the fire mastery is why I was able to make it through last time. All right, let's try going for the baby block. I can't resist its cute little smile, you know? Oh, they gave me the basic tutorial level. <laughs> so kind of them. I guess they uh, are taking some pity on me. Let's see, so... I could simply block this off. And... Maze enemies this way. And do this. Right? Do this. Let's do this. We'll get this. And um, I would like to get this double damage block. So let's try. Let's do it this way instead. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. That kind of pushes things down. What if I re. What if I reposition these now? Could do like... Uh, that's actually better. So I could do this. I don't get the double damage block anymore. But now I get to like significantly increase the length of this maze. And I can place this here. I feel like this is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. This will definitely do it right otherwise probably in trouble again but we'll see so put this here so it can hit everywhere um so this does one damage this does five damage with the darts i feel like this might be long enough to let the poison tick down so let's just do that all right bring it on little bugs got the cute bees this time instead of the uh, cherry tomatoes This first wave is such a bait. It makes you think, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm doing so well. And then you get wrecked. Okay, so that's not good. I could do this. Yes, I like this. And then I could do this. Hmm. Not really a fan there. I could do this and then this. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I can put something else here. Maybe I should just take more advantage of these double damage towers. Maybe that's where I went wrong. A five? Okay, okay. I like a five. A four. Well, you know, fours are okay. This is 10 damage, one time, 1.5 times. So that's like 15 damage. This one's 12 damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. Is it? Is it though? This is like 11 damage per second. So, it's not really that good. <laughs> it's like mediocre at best. But, you know, we're, we're surviving. I think this is the first time I haven't leaked on wave two. <laughs> oh man. So, let's see, I can do this. Get another double damage there. Let's put another one of these fire towers down. Uh, put a little bit more poison down as well. So now I want to push them up this way. And I definitely want to get them to spend as much time as possible around these double damage towers. Um, let's see. What would be the best outcome here? I don't like these towers along the edge, man. I feel like they just like run by and then that's it. You know, they, they hardly fire anything. So let's do this and this. So that gives us another double damage, so 
Put another dice guy there. A two? That, that's, that's not good enough. Come on. I need something better than that. Oh, please. A five. Okay. Five is good. I can live with a five. How much money did I waste there? I wasted 16. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I thought these did more than 10. Oh, never mind. Oh, right, but it's 10 every time it fires, so it's 15 damage per second. That's pretty good. That's like more than one damage per bolt, right? So. Oh, wow, there's a big waspy boy. Yeah, there's no way he gets through, right? Oh my god, you're kidding me, please. Oh, okay. Well, that was very close, but did get through. So now, I think I want to do this. Hmm, so I do want to get these, right? I would need two of these. I would need one here and here to be able to really take the most advantage of that. So let's start with this. Can we do this here? That's pretty good. So now I need like another four block here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely need another four block and then I can force them to go around. So let's build one of these on each of these. Oh, a six, nice, 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 12, four. I can live with the four. So there's that. Let's build up some AoE damage at the start here where there's a lot of snaking to hopefully get some of these like, packs of enemies taken out so that these can focus on like the tankier enemies. Oh man, I'm so scared. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It gets so much harder so quickly. All right, all right, doing pretty well. What I wanted is just like the tanky enemies to get through, which kind of is happening, I guess. So that's good. All right. Give me. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted right there. So now I need this here. That's good. And that's like pretty long, I guess. I mean, it's basically the perimeter of the box, which is not that great to be honest it's like okay this here is like the king's position for this tower though it's like hitting here it's hitting over here um i could probably get something similar here this is hitting a lot yeah get some poison as well And then I just need lots of damage here at the end. So let's add this double damage. A one? Are you serious? Get out of here with that. It doesn't even give me a refund. I need something better than a one. I need I need better than a two. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Okay. And I know what you might be thinking. I just spent 30 gold to get 15 damage per second when I could have just spent 30 gold to get this 10 damage per second and it's aoe but you know we're just gonna ignore that and let's actually set up some poison even though it won't take all the way down just because those slow enemies so i think that will be that will be helpful and we can actually start mazing out here too we can push things around to our uh, to our towers down here to get a couple extra shots off oh this is that big wasp that got past me last time let's see if this time i can stop it Please, please. Okay, yeah, there's no way he gets through. Although, it is a little concerning that it was like letting the other creatures get farther because it was like tanking for them. Which, you know, that kind of makes sense. I suppose that's probably the point of that monster. <laughs> but that was the final wave, and I should be good. See, I only lost one HP that time, so I'm doing a lot better. Oh, look at the little smiley face. It's so cute. The giant dice tower. Describe the, these icicle towers. I feel are really good at the end because they deal a lot of extra damage. For twenty five gold, it deals like um, what was that? So you pay twenty five gold, 
and it can fire six times per second, and it can deal up to three damage. So that's like 18 damage per second at most, right? I don't know when it starts triggering triple damage, though. Um, so that's like 18, that's like almost a gold per second, a, a damage per second. Wait, you get a lot of damage for the amount of gold. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, wait, why did I go down here if this only lets me go over here? Oh, well, I guess I just, I really wanted that little single block. That's okay. I guess we're not doing the elite. <laughs> that was a, an accident, but whatever. Let's, uh what we can get here. I'm, I don't have any lightning. I already have this. I feel like getting the ice might be good or just the crit. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just gonna hold on to my money for now. This big long block might be good. Oh, right, I can't. Wait, where am I going? Oh, I was doing this level. <laughs> Got a little confused there. Also, I feel like I got a lot less rewards than I normally do, like in terms of the, the ember or whatever the red stuff is called. Okay, I did this level previously. And, I mean, yeah, I feel like the strategy I used last time worked okay, so we can try something like that again. Do this. Um, do... I think I want to make them go this way, right? Something like this. Hmm. You know, maybe the secret is I'm supposed to set up like partial mazes that will let enemies go like halfway through, you know, and then I block it off and force them to backtrack. I have seen people do that before, but oops, I'm not sure if that's like intended here. Like maybe that's too much of a big brain play, you know? Um, I can't even remove these blocks in the middle of battle, right? So yeah, you can't do it by destroying things. But we can start with this. Something like this. So this is a nice little perimeter there. Get some AoE damage. I think I would want probably this, just so it can shoot farther. It does seem a little wasteful though. Maybe I shouldn't have gone over here. Well, you know, I've already done it, so we're just gonna have to see how this goes. Put this here. Oh my god, I should not have bought one of those. Uh, that, was a, that was not good. That might that might kill me. So, you know, let's just hope that we get lucky. I think we did not come out ahead there. <laughs> so, that's fine. Let's try this. Okay, see, I think that roughly averages out to something okay. Oh, that's nice. Let's do this. So now these towers get like a bunch of extra shots off. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, little cherry tomatoes are back. Seriously, what are these things? Like, I don't know. I guess they're some kind of bug, but it's a very bizarre creature. So let's see. I think what I would want to do is maybe go Like this. Oh, that's so annoying. You can do this, block it off, force them to go that way. Do this. And then do this. And then do this. I think I would want like a L block there or something. So this is good because it gives me a lot of time to fire poison and stuff at them. I do want some poison just because it slows. Okay. Let's see how this does. How much damage does this do? One damage. That's terrible. This is doing six 
Unicorn's 1.59 damage per second. Oh, it's the big lizards. Oh no. Okay, they're 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 dying. Oh, I think I'm okay so far, but let's see if I can make it past the third wave when it really starts to escalate. The single block is pretty good, right? I feel like this thing gives us a lot of a lot of maneuverability. I think we were to do this. Alright, now. How about something like this? And this. That's pretty good. And then we could do like something over here. Something like that. Force them to spend more time. These are not very useful here because they won't do very much damage early on. This kind of reaches. I think the poison is good here. Ugh, no, it's just too close to the end. I do want some of these though. I want to put. I want to put some of these here, just to kind of try to burn down anything that sneaks through. So, you like here and another two poisons here and here. I'm actually not sure how much the poison stacks. I am assuming it stacks. If it doesn't, yeah, like his whole health bar turned green, so the poison definitely stacks up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the big wasp. It's terrifying. Come on, don't let it through. Yeah, see, these, these little blue icicle guys do a lot of damage once the enemy's weaker. So let's see, we want to do some of this, or maybe more like this, come on, like that, like this. Okay, I feel like this is good now, like this is a really long snake, and I have towers all along the way there. This is probably not that efficient though because of this wooden block, but that's okay. Um, I can put... More fire towers down now, I feel, would be good. We can put one here, one here. Uh, more of these icicle towers. I'm really banking on these icicle towers, like, saving me at the end. All right, let's do it. This is going much better than last time, though. I've only lost one health, and it's the second level, so, you know, <laughs> they can get a lot farther than before. Six damage per second. Is this better than this? This is better than just this. Oh, but it's also way more expensive, so... Yeah. It's not enough just for the tower to have, like, high DPS. It also has to be, like, good DPS for the cost. Which, you know, for this is good if it... if the enemies are weak. But if they're super healthy, then it's not that good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, one got out. That's okay. That's pretty good. I've only lost one life on this level. I'm honestly, that's better than I was hoping to do at this point, so let's see. I want to make them come back down this way so that these towers can get some more shots off. So let's do that. Do this. Do this. that yeah so that'll let these fire a little longer uh, I can add some more poison here to slow things I definitely want to put it on this side so that way they fire for longer here's good here's good and then yeah I just want as much DPS as possible at the end here I'm really banking on those icicle towers I maybe shouldn't put them so close together though, because if one of those big wolf men come and slam me here, I'm probably dead. Alright. Well so far. There's a lot of big tanky enemies coming together. Just to make them 
go around a little more. that was helpful because now this tower can't reach when I go around. Yeah, this one's not firing now. That's not a good decision, but maybe it works out because it lets me place a few more towers here. But that wave was not bad, honestly, and that was the last one. Oh yeah, two whole levels. Drones. These were very underwhelming. They were doing like five damage per second. So that's like three gold for damage per second. This thing does 80 damage every four seconds. So that's like 20 damage per second. So you're paying like roughly four gold per damage per second. This is five damage every two seconds. So two and a half damage per second. And you're paying 15 gold for that. So that's not very efficient. But it is AOE damage. I feel like the flamethrower towers are just so much better though. Um... Oh, this thing does electric damage. I did not notice that. This does fire damage. So my my uh, fire mastery actually benefits this. Yeah, I mean, it's better than the other options. Can we get any new talents here? Boss monsters. I would love to be able to get this crit. So let's start moving our way over there. The, drawing two cards at the start will actually be very good as well. A lot of times my early mazes are what's getting me killed. So we're going to go this way, since that's our only option. <laughs> Alright. It's a long path. Some benches. I guess these are benches. I assume I can't build on those. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. I'm not sure what the best approach here is. I definitely don't want to build like a maze in here. Perhaps what I can make them do is go around this way, do something here, and then in here. So it would be something like this. I think. that. I definitely want that double damage. So I need to do maybe like this. And like this. And then put this here. Right? Seems okay. Oh man, that's a lot of waste. This is a lot of waste early on. Maybe I can get rid of this. Put this here. Yeah, so that gets back. That's like doing that for minus one block, basically. So that's good. Then I can put this here. Yeah, maybe it would be better to have them go this way. Like, what happens if I... Instead of doing that, what if I go like this? No, that still blocks it. Like this, like this. Is this any good? Not really, because they're not going to be firing here, so that's not really any better. So let's go back to what we had before, which I believe was this. I feel like that's a little better. And then I can do this. And I can make them go up here, which that would be good, because then these towers would fire a lot. So now we gotta place things. Definitely want some fire here. These will be pretty good, because they'll be able to shoot here at the last second, which could save me. Uh, I definitely want this double damage, though. And I do want a fire tower there, so let's do that. We'll do one poison just to slow things. And another fire tower. 
control here. Right there. I would like to try to maybe put something that's... Well, I, the only thing I have is a sniper, and that has long range, so I probably wouldn't want to put it there. But we'll see. Alright. Here come the cherry tomatoes and the purple spiders. They're so fast. Oh, wow. That thing died, like, right away. <laughs> I guess the enemies must scale HP, because I definitely remember those surviving for quite a bit later. Um, earlier. I really need, like, a long block to make this work. All right. Alternatively, I could put this here, and now they have to go around. I can put this here. What? Oh, man. That's annoying. What if I put this here? You know, this is almost really good, because then... Well, is it... What's the range on these? Not really. It's not that good. It's just okay. So I know I want them to go up and then down, right? So I can just assume that's there and build, you know, under the assumption that that will be there. So I definitely want this guy. Do this. Put this here. What if I were to do this? And then this. I think I want to send them out this way. Hmm. That won't really help because I can't build on this. We'll see. I think for now this is okay. Can add this here just to get a little bit more surface area there. And... Yeah, I think at this point I just start adding more stuff to those double damage spots. Alright, hopefully this is enough. I feel like I may have built too much of the area damage towers, but I still only have little purple spiders coming, so it might be okay. Like, the purple spiders don't really survive that long. And the cherry tomatoes just kind of die on their way through, so... Oh, that, that guy's getting through for sure. Oh, oh man. Oh, don't let him out! Oh, okay. Wow, they survived by like 1 HP. That's crazy. That's probably like the difference between like this thing just hitting like a cherry tomato versus a spider. Hmm. Maybe they should target most HP. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I got this, which is good. Now I can do this. That's, that's like, very good, right? Because, like, the surface area... Well, them walking along the surface area is, like, good value. Um, can do this. I can do this. But then if I make it too long... Well, they have no other option. They have to go this way. So that's pretty good. That gives me a lot of control. Hmm. I think I do want this. Right? Like this, and then like this. Maybe? And then I can put stuff here. Yeah, that has like a lot of reach. Oh yeah, that's really good. So put this... I really need some non-AoE at the moment though. So let's put this guy here. Oh wow, look at how much it hits. It's just so much. Put this one here. Uh, this one here. That's not a very good spot for it though. I'm gonna put some of these dice towers down, but they're just so like hit or miss. When you get a bad one, you get something real bad. But I, I really do need these like one by one towers right now. I'll just buy like a couple. Maybe like one here. See? Rewarded. Um, I don't know, man. I'll just put one of these here. I feel like these fire towers are just so good. And then another poison tower here. 
just want to slow things down. We don't want them running through the maze too fast. And I, I definitely want high SHP. Oh, right, I can change it for all of them. Let's change this to high SHP. Right click the buttons below to set the target priorities. How do I do it there? Oh, there we go. Oh, got through with like one HP again. I'm always like one damage off. It's so rough. Okay, so now what I want is... I feel like this is already pretty good. This is like good value there. I think what I want is now to extend this and do something similar over here. Something like this. Where I'm like forcing them to go a long way around. Once I block this off, they'll have to go like all the way around here, which would be really good. And it'll also force them to go through there again. So let's start placing some of these like, you know, big damage towers. We can put them like, we can put one here. I don't know how good it'll be there though. I, we really want these at the end, like here. poison along the way as well. I think that's good. I'm not placing these as efficiently as I could though. Like I should be putting things, I should be concentrating things up here right now. But I'm just afraid that if something runs through there then it just has like no chance of dying. Yeah, this is going fine. As long as, oh there's a big spider, that's a little scary. I would have put one of these here for now. I'm definitely gonna go all the way around, so I think it's fine to put that there. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna build this wall out this way and then up here. So maybe this one's not very good actually. It's only gonna fire a small area. Yeah, that one was probably not the right choice, but. You know, I guess I do need some AoE damage here for the little spider wings. So let's place some AoE damage over here at the end. So I think this is what I want here. Something like this. No. I want this. And this. Oh, look at that. That's so good. Now I just need to go... I need to block this off. So let's buy a card. them to go up this way no yeah this is pretty tough I think I just want to block this off right oh man I'm just not sure I definitely want this here Maybe I want this here no want some more AoE damage here I think this is like where the AOE damage will pay off the most because everything's going to be like concentrated here. Some more slows. Hmm. I probably should have... Ah, uh, no. That just wouldn't work. What do we got coming? Some big spiders? Oh, those big spiders are the worst. This would force them to go around further. I think I'll have to check after this wave. I'm not gonna place it now. I'm pretty this might be better than just sending them back down this way. I'm not 100% sure. Cause well, that would only give me extra value on these two towers. Yeah, I think sending them down this way is still the correct play. Oh my god, that was scary. Let's 
little spider wings almost got through. That lizard was so slow. Poor thing. I left behind. Okay. I think I want to do this, maybe? Or maybe... If I could put the one block there, like the little baby block, that would give me just a tiny bit more surface area. So I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna place the little baby block there. Oh, that's a little scary. I, I did shorten the maze quite a bit, didn't it? Uh, not really, actually. This is fine. And so now that means I can put, like, stuff here. Or I could, like, try to do something sneaky here. Like, I could maybe do this into this, right? I can make them go this way. That didn't really do anything, did it? I don't think that did anything. What I could do is I can make them go kind of like up and over here. I think that could be useful. Something like this. And maybe like this? Oh, then they just go around that way. That's not ideal. Let's recall this. I think if I put this here, well, I'll just hold on to it because I'm not really doing anything useful with it. I feel like this one was okay. This tower is now a lot less useful though, but it lets me put a double damage one here and that's pretty powerful. And then I think I just want to do this again. I just want to put as many of these icicle towers down so that they can hit as much for as long as possible. And maybe just like an extra AOE tower or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give them a little poison as well. I know they like themselves some poison. Oh god. Seven waves. Let's see if I make it. These are getting real tough. We've come a long way though. The first time I only... How long far did I get? I think I only made it to the second level. Yeah, this is uh, going okay, I think. Yeah. As long as this wasp doesn't tank too much. I need these icicle towers to take this wasp down so that it doesn't escort things to the end. Yeah, see it's melting now. These, these icicle towers at the end can take down almost anything, I think. As long as it's not one of these spiders, because then the little babies pop out and these do like no damage because they'll be at full HP. Come on, take it down. I need it to be gone. Okay. Yeah, see, this is scary, because these Icicle Towers just don't do much damage when they're at full HP. So maybe what I could do is, like, force them to go up, and also force them to go, like, this way? How is this still faster? Are you serious? There we go. So that forces them. No, 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 that's not good because I just wasted, I just made it so, well, actually, I think that is good. Yeah, I think that is good. This one did get a little hurt by that. Poison tower's okay. I want to put this one here, the little baby block. This, that, that was pretty good, I think. It adds like two extra units of length, right? Because they have to move up and down one extra block. So I think I want to start building like a sniper maybe. One sniper, and I want that to hit the highest HP. Maybe two snipers? I just don't know if these are good, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And um, some more poison. And uh, another... Wait, how did I get extra money? I thought it said I had 15 there. That was weird. Yeah, some more of these icicle towers, obviously. These are just so good at the end. These snipers. They do a lot of damage, but... 
I don't know. They fire so slowly. Maybe if it was like on a double damage. Because then it would just chunk things that were big, right? Are these. This is hitting highest HP, right? Yeah, okay, it's hitting the big spider, which is what I want. Because I don't want, I want the big spider to die as early as possible. So that it doesn't release a bunch of baby spiders at the wrong time. Because anything that gets here will definitely die. Okay, it's just too much damage. They can't take it, man. Yeah, that went really well. That was the last wave, too. So I think the weak point for me is still like that middle, the middle of the game. You know, I'm uh, I'm occasionally letting things through in the middle because my maze is like, I'm like getting too far ahead of myself on the maze. Boulder, 45 damage every five seconds because it fires 0.2 per second. So that's like nine damage per second, but it's an AOE. But it's also 80 gold. It stuns things though. I do like stuns. You know, I'll give that a try. I haven't tried this one. And it might be good. I feel like AoE in this game is just really good. Those flamethrower towers seem to be the only reason I survived. Um, I'm kind of afraid to try this because I feel like I always die. But, you know, what are the chances of me beating the boss if I don't get any relics? An altar. Hmm. If I take this, I have to go to the barracks. If I remember, the barracks just gives you a quest, which I did not find all that useful. But, like, fighting things doesn't really give me anything useful either. It just gives me towers and these little blocks. Hmm. I feel like I need the relic or something from the shop. Or from the altar. This forces me to go to the barracks. So does this. How do I get the shop? Oh, this is a tough choice. Hmm. Barracks, I can go this way. Let's try the altar. I think I can buy relics at the altar, but I don't remember how much they cost. Let's see. Oh, you sacrifice HP for a relic. But I can heal, so... Let's do this. What? How do I... Okay. Oh, but I can only get one. Also, what, what relic did I get? What is this? Oh! That was not good. <laughs> I didn't realize that was like a specific relic you get. Yeah, I probably should not have done that. <laughs> you without using flamethrower. Okay. This is probably fine. I feel like I never build during battle anyways cuz I'm like too mentally overwhelmed by everything going on. But this one I kind of just get for free cuz I deal so much fire damage. So, let's do that. Also, I want to unlock the rest of the relics cuz I feel like you probably need these to be able to win on this difficulty. Or, you know, you just need to be good at the game. Unlike me. So I only have 8 HP. I think I want to... Just take the easier one and get to the boss. I want to see how hard the boss is on this difficulty. And I don't think I'll be able to if I don't. Um, I, I'm not sure I could beat that elite to be frank oh god okay so this is kind of rough there's enemies coming from every side Are you serious i'm not really sure what the best option is here like, I can funnel them all, but they're all coming from every side now. So I don't even get a chance to, to do anything about this, really. Do I want to funnel everything into here? Let's see. OK. 
Can I block this off? Will it let me? No. And I can't destroy these. If there was a way to like destroy some of these blocks, I could make it into a maze, but I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, let's try... So these two are merging here. I could merge this one into here. Oh, but then this path is so short. I think what I need to do is block this off here. Maybe not with that one though. Maybe... I feel like these aren't ever that great, to be honest. Just like this. So now everyone's going this way. And then I can... I can block this off here. And this will let me put a sniper here later, which is good. And then I think I just need to maze this really aggressively. I do need to block this off. I can do this to make like a long maze. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work. So this is the, the end, right? So I need to probably maze around that. I could do this. Hmm. Pretty rough. Is this really all I have? Look how tiny this is. Everything's gonna get through here. Oh man, this is so, this is so hard. Do this. And then I guess I place one here. And place a poison tower. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all I got. This is good, though. Oh, no. I kind of screwed up there, didn't I? Did I get all my money back? Okay, that's good. Hold on. Let's go back a bit here. Let's do this. seems okay, right? Because next turn I can block this off here. How can I block this off, though? I'm going to need exactly two little blocks. No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Let me think. That won't work. I think I need to do like this. This. This? That's okay. It makes a long path here. I think that's my best bet. I can put this flame tower here. Another flame tower here. And a poison just to slow things down here. Yeah, I think that's my best bet for now. This is pretty rough. Luckily they're all little little enemies. Hopefully there's not like any giant enemies coming out here because like this path here is super short for this wave of enemies. Um, and I can't really go too much past this. Like I can't push this one back farther. Oh no, I can, I can. I would just have to do something like, like this, I guess. I'm not sure, like this, and then something like that. I can push it back a little bit more. 
But I can't push it, push it past here. This has only two blocks, so there's no way for me to like create a snake here. Um, so yeah, let's continue here. I'm gonna do this. And I guess just do this. Put like two here. I can put like a L block there. It'd be nice to get things to come a little farther down here. So that that could reach. Is this gonna be able to reach? Not really. I can put a sniper there though. So let's take this back. This is pretty good though, right? Yeah, because then I can put another L block there or something. No. I'll save this for now. Wait, why is that a dotted line? Wasn't that a red line before? Oh, there's no enemies coming there. I don't need to worry about that then. Yeah. So let's just put a little bit more AoE damage down. Maybe do this? No. Yeah, that needs to be a sniper or like a boulder tower just because it's the only thing that has the range there. Poison, poison. And I guess just like two dice towers. I really don't like these dice towers though. Ugh. See, that's why they're so bad. Come on. Yeah, whatever. That's not great. What did that give us? That's like four, six damage per second. For 10 gold. I guess that's not bad. Like, the price that I'm paying for damage on these other towers is not really that much better. It's just when you roll, like, a 1 or a 2 that really feels bad. All of them through! Okay, okay. Survived another round. Live to see another day. Now... There's nothing coming this way. There's nothing coming this way. I feel like knowing the sequence... I don't know if there's like a set sequence for this level, but if there is, that would help too, because then you could like maybe just put a tower here instead of having to like worry about mazing through there. If it's only like one or two waves coming through. So let's see. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. I can make that just a little bit longer. And I can put this here. That's pretty good. I can now finally put one of these down. Is this... I feel like I'm putting it all on the line here by taking this, but I do feel like I won't be able to keep up if I don't. So I'm gonna do it. And then I'm just gonna put some more dice towers down. Oh, nice. Please be good. I mean, it seems good. Doing a lot of damage. It did nothing. Hmm. Okay. So, what can we do here? I can extend this just a tiny bit this way. That does help a little bit. Um, and I can s put another one of these down, maybe? That reaches pretty far. Can I get a sniper? That reaches everything. I don't actually know if it's more efficient to use it on the big ones or the little ones, because it only gives it 25% more damage, as opposed to giving it double damage for these. Um, all right, let's uh, delay things a little bit here. We, want, we do want to slow things down. Can put like, like this, this. this. 
this. That's pretty good. That just gives me a little bit more time before they reach here. Um, and I guess I can put a few towers there. I can put some poison there. I really don't like the idea of putting a ton of stuff here because I can't fire on anything that comes up from over there. And I can still benefit just from putting stuff like this down. I think I want to just put a bunch of ice school towers here. And then like one or two poison towers or something. Put this here. Put this one here, I guess. No, let's spread it out a little. Put it like here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. This heals me, which is nice. It's like a revive. It almost one-shots the wolves. It's not quite strong enough, though. I wish I could upgrade it, so it could one-shot the wolves. But I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. I don't like that it shoots the little spiders. Oh, see, like, it really needed to hit that big spider. Oh, that was lucky, though. Run! Oh, got him. Got him. Didn't stand a chance. All right, see, now there's enemies coming from over here again. And I do actually want them to go that way. That's just like to make these a little more comparably long. Um, so yeah, I think I do want some snipers now. I wanna be able to like hit things that have a lot of HP, get them a little weak before they reach this area. Um, maybe some fire. I feel like that's a good spot because it can just barely reach there. And then I just want to start spamming this, these little icicle guys. I hope. I don't know if this will work. I can just put this here. Oh, yeah, there's that wolf guy. So this sniper will weaken him pretty substantially before he gets any of force. It might just kill him. Yeah, he's just dead. That was great. He didn't stun my towers. That would have probably been really bad for me. Um, oh, I probably should put this here. Oh, no, I can't. There's not enough space. I need an L block. The other L block. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this. Do this. So now there's some double damage there. That's always good. A fire tower, two fire towers there. I do want a second sniper. I want to be able to take out the big guys from far away. And then more of these. Laying it all on the line here with these ice school. These ice school towers are carrying me quite hard when things get to them. Okay, so let's see, this is why I need these snipers. I need them to take out the big spiders. Or the big wolf guy. That's fine too. Unless you disable my snipers, that's not good. Please, please. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. That went that went really well. I should put something here. I think I'll just put a dice tower there, because that's only gonna hit this one. Okay, that was a waste of money. Um, whatever, I can put something here. Just to make them go around a little more. Uh, this is probably a good spot for another boulder tower, maybe? I feel like the stun is pretty good. And this will hit a big area. And... What else? I mean, more of these guys? I guess so. And maybe some poison here and there. I already have some there. A little bit of poison over here. I wish I had those poison gates. Those things do so much damage. And um, I mean, I guess I just get some flamethrowers. I feel like those are always good. 
put one here. And one more dice tower just because something to spend it on. Like, this is not going to let anything leak. This is pretty good. The only thing I'm afraid of is these big spiders occasionally getting a little close. This is the last wave, right? So, yeah, I think I just need to build a lot of damage. I need something that can fit there. Let's just add lots of damage. Where should I put the damage though? I definitely want more of these at the end. Uh, that one's not very good. I can't really reach the end. Let's take it back. Um, let's add some more dice towers here and there just for some damage. More poison towers for slowing. And I guess I'll just add some more, like, big guns now. Right? I could put, like, a, another sniper here. And another boulder launcher. Yeah, I mean, if this doesn't stop them, I don't think that's actually going to hit anything. Oh, that didn't give me all my money back. Well, I just wasted eight gold. All right. If this doesn't stop them, nothing will. There's, like, guns. It's just all guns, all the way through. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing more for you to hit. I'm pretty happy with how these snipers are working out, actually. I didn't think they'd be that great, but they are taking care of these wolves before they get here and start causing problems. Oh, that guy might be an issue. Yeah, there's that big spider again. They're always getting a little close. Oh yeah, that was easy. Nothing was even close to coming through there. Nice. Oh, and I completed the challenge. Give me a little bit of extra XP. Frost Tower. I do like, I feel like the Dice Tower is actually, like the big one is actually good. Um, maybe I'm just imagining that though. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it, it came in pretty clutch last time uh, when I used it. But I was also playing on normal mode, so maybe I just didn't notice that it wasn't actually that good. Okay, I definitely need one of these, right? I need either the crit chance. So this is... There's a 1 in 20 chance of hitting, right? So... Wait, what is that? Five. What's 5% 5 of 50%? That's two and a half percent. So this is like basically two and a half percent extra damage on all your towers. I think this is better. So I think I want to refund some stuff. All right, I want this. I want this. I want the fire one. I want this. I want this. And I want this. That's pretty good. Oh man, if only I can get, the, you know, this overload is probably what I really need because a lot of these levels I lost by like one HP and I would have been able to deal that extra damage if I could just like overload the tower towards the end. But I, I do think that I have no chance if I don't have the boss killer here. So here we go. Is it the same? It looks like it's still just like one tower per wave because there's six waves. Uh, honestly, last time I was very underwhelmed by these. Like, I, I feel like they didn't work. Like, it's not changing the range. So I don't know if maybe they're just bugged. And they don't actually do double damage. But, um... 
yeah, I mean, we're gonna need a really good maze here to be able to win. So let's get started on that. Definitely wanna do this. seems okay. Is it better though? Could I do better than this? Like what if I were to do this? What if I were to do this? I can't put that there. Where are all the damage? All the plus damage is on this side, so I think I do want to make them come out on this side to have them spend more time over here. So I think what I want is to go this way. This way. And you can go up that way. If I get an L block, that would be perfect. Because I could block this off and they'd go like this. And that would give me a lot of firing time here. Oh man, that's so scary. Am I just killing myself if I do this? How much money do I have? 70? So I definitely, I, I tend to always build these two at the start, so I can buy one block. And that was exactly what I needed. So, you know, sometimes you just you just get lucky and you win. And hopefully I don't eat my words after saying that. Hold on. I'll do this. Right. Oh, that's not actually that helpful right now, is it? Can... Hmm. I think I'm close. I'm close to finding the perfect maze. I think I need this to be here. That doesn't really do anything, actually. I think this is what I want. Yeah. And then I can funnel them over here. But this is pretty good for now, right? Because, um... Do I need this, uh... What if I were to put this here? I really gotta make sure that this is right, because I can't rebuild this once it starts. So if I mess it up, I'm just... I'm dead, basically. If I were to do this, oh, that's not good. Let's do this, this. No, because that wastes all this space. So it needs to be something more like this. pretty good because then I can force them back down. Add a little block here if I need to. Is there a way to orient this better though? Hmm. I think just doing that is fine. I'm pretty happy with this. This gives my fire tower a lot of uptime here. 
and I can put a second one there. And then I think I just put a poison tower, and I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. I think this this is my best bet. I don't think these minecarts work, because nothing seems to change when I put the tower on it. Like, it doesn't seem to do double damage. Oh, I forgot these towers fire, because I haven't seen a single one so far. These big lizard boys are almost certainly going to get through. We'll see that. Actually, it seems like I'm stopping them. I'm a little surprised, to be honest. I didn't think these two fire towers would be able to. But they did it. Okay, so now what I want to do is force them this way. So that I can make them spend a bunch of time here. Next to these double damage towers. And then next I'll force it back up. And that'll probably be the bulk of my defense here. And then I'll put a bunch of ice things over here. I think that's my best bet. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I have 64 gold. Let's put a... Do I put more fire towers there? Is that what I want on these spaces? I think it is. I feel like these fire towers so far are just like the best value for your money. So, let's see what happens. I do need to damage this guy before he gets over here though, otherwise I, there's no way I survive. Yeah, these wolves are not gonna make it through. And these guys already failed to make it through once, so we're, we're, we're good. I need to put like one block here so that I can like shoot the sea with poison while I destroy my towers. Alright, well there's the block I was asking for. Should I put it there? I could put it like right here. Hmm. This is good. Makes them go. No, actually that was not good. Sorry. I think what I want is this. Well, maybe that was fine. I guess it's about the same. It, it creates the same shape. So I think what I should do is focus on this instead. I want to go this way. And this way, right? So that forces them to go up, and they take more damage from that. I do think I want to put a tower here. I don't think it's going to stand close enough. It's going to move like over here. Maybe if I put it here? This should definitely reach, right? Yeah. This might just be a massive waste of money. <laughs> but we shall see. And I guess now I just need to start building up some more damage. Uh, this one is not going to get a ton of time. Because they're not going to snake this way ever. I could put a sniper here. And this will reach like this whole area, which would be quite good. Um, I do want to start thinking about these guys. I think I do want them here. And some more poison, just to slow things. Okay. Uh, I hope this is actually hitting. It's not close enough. That was not good. That was just a waste of money. I wasted 10 gold? That's not the end of the world. I've wasted more on just placing these dice towers. Oh, there's no way I'll stop that guy. Well, actually, these ice towers are probably going to take him down. Yeah, they got him. They got him. The ultra lizard boy. Finally afford these bigger towers. I think I'd want to place a sniper here. So I could like do this. 
and then place this here. That reaches like almost everything. What about this guy? That reaches not quite as far as the sniper. I feel like I want the sniper here. Because I want it to be taking out like the big targets. And also because it needs to fire with this guy the whole time. So let's see. What I want us to do like this basically. Oh wow, that is just perfect. And then maybe like this. No, I want something like this, right? So they, I can force them down and then back up again. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. I'm gonna force it down, put it, put something here just to block it off. But then it's a little bit of a waste. So let's save this one actually. And for now, I'll just put something else there. I could put this here. No, that's not that great. So, what do we need now? We need... Oh, that just doesn't reach very far. I'll put one of these here. I'll just put a poison tower here, actually, to slow things. I feel like that's fine. I kind of want to buy some blocks. Pretty good. And then maybe I get rid of this one. Oh, the next wave is starting. Taking too long. I feel like at this point I just put tons of these here, right? Because I'm gonna make them sneak up again. So these are gonna get tons of uptime. Okay, so there's the big wards. Those are the ones I'm worried about. Barely even made it to the ice core guys. This big monster is gonna come towards me next round already. I don't know if I will survive. I don't really feel like I have that much set up for him. Please don't let him slam the ground again. I don't know that. Okay. See these guys. These guys can take care of business here. They don't mess around. So I need this. That's good. I need some of this. Of this. And I mean, this is honestly the best I can ask for here. It's just lots of uptime for these. I think I might be able to do a little bit better here. I think what's actually better is to do this. And then to block it off here. Yeah. Because now I can go this way and then I can put tons of stuff here. Now the question is, do I put another sniper? It's, I think it's just that. So I think I actually just want a ton of these. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm all in on icicles. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh no, 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 this is not the last wave. I thought this was the last wave. I didn't realize I started a tower. This is fine though. Like, these guys aren't gonna get me through all of this. The only thing I'm worried about is this wolf getting here and then maybe sneaking through. Yep, there are, there's stuff I'm not getting through. <laughs> These icicle towers are just way too strong. You can just visibly see the HP dropping when they target something. Oh, those little spiders are scary though. Okay, well, one little spider, five little spiderlings got through. That's not good. Oh, I might be dead here. 
Oh, I died to the spiderlings. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I healed because I had money. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. I survived. That relic I bought by... The relic I bought that I didn't know what it did just saved me. <laughs> this hardcore saved me there. Let's see. I think I want this here. I want this here. I want this here. I think this is it. I just need some more poison to make sure this thing is slowed for as long as possible. And then it's just icicle towers. All right, I hope this is enough. I don't know if there is enemies, though so that maybe was not the best idea. I'm really betting it all on these things here. Betting the farm on the ice. I'm mostly just worried about this wolf, though. Like, this wolf gets through, I'm... He's just gonna keep slamming me over and over, and I'll, I'll die. Where's the wolf? Did he die? No, oh, yeah, there's the wolf. Ah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Like, it, it's dead now, but there's a big spider. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I, I need to maze more. Go around. Oh, man. Was I even close? How much HP does this thing have? I don't know how close I was. I guess I needed more... I need to deal with the wolves, probably. And, um... I don't know. Maybe I could have picked up some extra relics along the way. But I, I got farther than I thought I would, honestly. I wasn't expecting to necessarily beat the last boss there. Um, especially since I'm still missing a bunch of upgrades. But might give it another shot. We'll see. This game is pretty fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you have any tips for how to do that, particularly if you know how to do it without getting other upgrades, that would be really helpful. Let me know. Um, and yeah, if you're watching, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And leave some comments, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, I tried improving the sound a little bit by messing with my setup. Um, hopefully the keyboard and mouse clicks didn't come through this time. But yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.